be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as go ahead and give me a like on the video if you like today's content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you how to make guitar melodies from scratch, okay? From scratch, okay? This is not where we're going to actually be using samples or loops or anything like that. We're going to create our own in this video. So, first things first is you want to create a new instrument track. And um, you can go with either um, a default patch. They have some um, guitar sounds in here that you can go with. You just want to go to guitar and pick what like your acoustic guitar. But you can also go over here to Omnisphere and they have a lot of different guitars you can use in here. So we're going to use this double uh, track string. All right, so this is showing you two different guitars you can use. I'm going to use the Omnisphere one, okay? And what we'll do here is, um, first off, I'm going to pull up in our scissors here. And just so you can see the piano roll, we're going to be starting here. So what you could do is you start with C, all right? And you just want to start with your bass note first, okay? So let's just create a bass note. It doesn't need to be obviously that long, so let's just make it like one measure long. And what you want to do with this bass note is just continue to make it go down some and go up the scale, so down and up. So let's see, let's try that out. So start with a bass, um, some type of simple bass pattern, and then from there, that's when you want to add some of these other notes that will accent that bass pattern. So let's just try out. Let's zoom in here. All right, so let me just explain what I just did here. And before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and push uh, Command A to highlight everything. And then I'm just gonna right click on one of these and do um, Force Legato. Just make sure that when you do the force legato, like on these bass notes or these, low, these, these uh, lower notes, you want to still keep those going all the way to the end. Cool. So once you have this um, other pattern here, you can just go ahead and start adding more.
what you can also do here is some of these patterns can be put on like a whole nother track. So like if I wanted to, I could double this up and bring this down here and then like get rid of all these other notes here. Get rid of the bass notes. Then come up here and get rid of all these notes. So yeah, we could just start off with something basic like that. And then what you'll do is you highlight this. Once you get like a pattern that you feel like is pretty decent, um, right click it and do bounce in place. And that's gonna create an audio track. From here, what I could do now is put effects on it and that's gonna really take it to the next level. So I'm gonna click I or put push I for your inspector. And then I can put some effects on it. So like one thing I could do is I can put like this. Uh, well, first off, we're going to want to go ahead and EQ some of this low end. After we have that low end taken care of, we'll go ahead and add like a, a reverb. I like actually this Valhalla Room. Um, it's kind of a go-to. At this point, pretty much, you know, you can play around with other effects if you want, but I would say just kind of leave it simple. And then I can come over here and just take this and drag it into the quick sampler like so. And now I can go to classic mode and I can play this at different octaves, different notes and different things like that. So to actually make a beat off of this, I can come over here, push this follow tempo right here. And then I can come on with my piano, okay. You know, you can play around with the BPM, a whole lot of stuff. But pretty much, y'all, that's the basis of actually making a guitar melody um, from scratch. Uh, let me know if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up or also by hitting me up on the comment section. Also, make sure that you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses on there. We have drum kits, melody kits you can get. And we have our 100K giveaway we're doing. So on our journey to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away some cool prizes. Um, at different milestones on the journey. Okay, so first milestone is 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Make sure you get some, get your tickets, download the 100K subscriber pack at beatmakingbasics.com if you want to win. More details about what the prizes are gonna be and everything like that are gonna be listed within um, on the website. So make sure you go there, beatmakingbasics.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.